I know you played a lot of safety uh, in college, uh, but leading up to that senior bowl and the senior bowl, I got a lot of reps at linebacker. Was that kind of the forward thinking of what you might see in the NFL? Well, it was actually the coaches forward thinking, and it was just me um, really just man up for the challenge. Uh, the coaches at the senior bowl came up to me saying they think I might be a good fit for linebacker, specifically on passing downs, and I just was up for the challenge. And, I have fun at the position and look forward to it um, at the next level. Divine, you play very instinctively, and I'm curious, in your conversations with the Raiders, can you tell us how they discussed using you in the Gus Bradley defense, please? Uh, they, they discussed moving me towards the box, so Will, linebacker specifically. Um, really just matching up with tight ends and uh, playing the run. That's my main, um, main way they want to use me. Hey, Divine, Paul Gutierrez here from ESPN. Congratulations. And I know going into college, you were a receiver. So how did having the hands of a receiver, playing safety, now moving to linebacker, I mean, how do all, does that skill set, uh, I mean, where, where's your mindset at when you go into that? Are you just a football player? Are you a receiver, a, a safety, a, lot of position a linebacker? Changes, right? Yeah, a lot of position changes. And I like to think I'm just a football player. Like you said, um, I can do it all. Um, I challenge myself mentally. I like to know everybody's position. So yeah, um, just a football player can do it all. Hi, Divine. I, I think I might know the answer to this question, but I figured I'd ask, hear you say it anyway. Who do you, who would you say you model your game after? Cam okay, Chancellor is the first guy who comes to mind, yes, sir. You, uh, so, I mean, obviously Gus Bradley coached him. I mean, you think that there's some kind of connection there? Yeah, he probably saw me and um, had a few flashbacks and, uh, you know, just saw Cam and me, and I look forward to working with him for sure. Levi Edwards with uh, Raiders.com. In your time at Virginia Tech, what do you think is the biggest thing or the biggest impact that uh, anyone had on you to get you ready for the next level? Who I would have to say Justin Hamilton, um, current defensive coordinator there, also the safety coach. And he just prepared me uh, mentally, really. Um, just taught me different coverages, different ways the NFL – does things and because he was he played the NFL for a little while but he studies the NFL he studies the defenses that's where his defense is and I feel like coach Hamilton did a good job of just preparing me. Hey Devon this is Tashawn Reed from The Athletic um, you know the coaching staff at Virginia Tech speaks of you very favorably not just on the field but off the field um, why was that something that you prioritized obviously you know everybody looks at football first but how you carried yourself away from the game why was that something that you prioritized while you were in college? I feel like my parents did a good job of raising me. Um, I was just always taught to treat people how I want to be treated. So I just like to do the small things right, like holding doors for people. And then as far as school, if I want to play ball, I got to have good grades. And so that that came easy. I want to play ball, so I got to do what I got to do. And I just feel like I'm a good person in general. Um, I like to do the right things, and uh, it just comes natural to me. Well, I know you mentioned switching positions throughout your career, and I'm sure your body has had to change as well to – make those transitions uh, from one to the next. Are you going to have to do the same, do you feel, uh, moving to, to Will Linebacker, or do you feel like you're kind of set uh, as far as that goes, the strength, the size, the weight? Well, I'm going to have to uh, ask the coaches to see what they want me to do, but I feel like I'm pretty solid at the weight I am now. I'm in between 225 and 230. Um, I ran like a 4'4", so um, I'm pretty solid and fast at this um, weight. If they want me to gain, I will. I just do whatever they don't want me to do. But I feel like I'm pretty solid where I am now. Yeah, Devon, Jerry McDonald from the Bay Area News Group. Your, your skill set also seems uh, pretty ideal for, for special teams, specifically coverage. And I think they were even showing a couple of clips on the uh, on television of you of laying some pretty big, big hits out there. How big a part of a g game do you think that's going to be and how much do you enjoy it? I think it's a huge part of the game. And um, I really love special teams. I took pride in it actually um I had 25 25 is a special number at Virginia Tech and I, I got the record for um I think I've worn it five times but I hold the record right now hopefully I keep it for a while but that goes to the special teams player of the week and like I said I had it five times so I take pride in special teams I feel like it's an underrated part of the game people don't realize how much of an impact it really has and I'd be grateful to play in the league as well 
Devon Leva Edwards once, the, once again with uh, Raiders.com, just with the whole season that just transpired with all of the COVID restrictions and no draft combine. How much do you think your experience and what you were able to do during Senior Bowl weekend has really played a part in rising your draft stock and really getting you looked at by the Raiders? I feel like the Senior Bowl and uh, specifically Pro Day really helped me out. Uh, last year, they didn't have Pro Day, so a lot of guys missed out on the opportunity. But I had two extra opportunities. So senior bowl, like I said, they moved in the linebacker down there and I feel like I showed my potential at that position. And then pro day, I just showed what I could do athletically and uh, I just caught the Raiders' attention and thankfully they uh, picked me up. One more question, Adam. Yeah, hey man, I only asked this because uh, the other two guys have said no so far, but have you been to Las Vegas before? And if not, what are you looking forward to? I've never been to Las Vegas and I don't know, I guess just to look around and see what they got there. I'm going to say the food. I heard the food was pretty good there.